Uh, for the second demo, I have this Wii remote that's actually next to the TV, so it's pointing away from the display rather than um, uh, pointing at the display. And uh, what, why this is interesting, oh, here they are, is that if you put on, say, a pair of safety glasses that have two infrared dots in them, what these two dots are essentially going to give you is give the computer an approximation of your head location. And why this is interesting is I have this little application running on the computer monitor, which has a 3D room with some targets floating in it. And you can see that it looks like a 3D room if you can. You can see, you know, like a video game, it sort of looks 3D, but for the most part, the image looks pretty flat and bound to the surface of the screen. But if we turn, turn on head tracking, the computer can change the image that's on the screen and make it respond to the head movement. So let's switch back to that. So, so this has actually been a little bit startling to the game development community. Uh, <laughs> Because this is about $10 of additional hardware if you already have a Nintendo Wii. So uh, I'm looking forward to some, seeing some games with it. And actually, Lewis Castle, uh, sitting down there, last week announced that Electronic Arts, one of the largest game publishers, is releasing a game in May that has a little Easter egg feature for st supporting this type of head tracking. So in less, from five in less than five months, it went from a prototype in my lab to a major commercial product. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but actually, to me, what's almost more interesting than either of these two projects is, projects is how people actually found out about them. YouTube has really change the way or change the speed in which a single individual can actually spread an idea around the world. Uh, I, you know, I'm just a researcher in my lab with a video camera, and within the first week, a million people had seen this work. And um, literally within days, engineers, teachers, and students from around the world were already posting their own YouTube videos of them using my system or derivatives of this work. So I hope to see more of that in the future and hope online video distribution to be embraced by the research community. So thank you very much.